For Hype Plus News, I'm Ramil Thompson. In America, there have been a handful of organizations that have faced harsh criticism by the public. With the growing popularity of the Nation of Islam, whether for good or bad, Malcolm X would become a focal figure from the group that stood out. The public's perception of Malcolm X was not good and this would unfairly be pushed onto those around him. The union between Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali, arguably the greatest boxer to ever live, came to the shock of many considering their public perceptions at the time. Prior to ever introducing himself to the world as Muhammad Ali, Cassius Clay met Malcolm X after being a member of the nation for only about a year and keeping the affiliation secret from the public. Nevertheless, the two became inseparable and connected to the point where many would argue that Ali helped better the image of Malcolm X in the public eye during their friendship. Like all good things that come to an end, the fallout between the two was ground breaking and signal a greater shift in their lives. Muhammad Ali will forever be known as the figure that grew famous during the counterculture era for his stance on war and his speed and skill in the ring that made people anoint him as the greatest. His legacy remains one of a person who was radical but made great changes for what they believed in, even if it meant violence. What many people do not know however, and should in detail, is about the unknown relationship and fallout between the two of them. After an amateur career that saw Cassius Clay winning the gold medal at the 1960 Olympics, the young rising star from Kentucky decided to turn pro, truly putting his talents to the test. Clay's conversion to Islam would be kept relatively secret from the public in 1961, shortly before his meeting with the outspoken figure within the Nation of Islam. During this same time period, Malcolm X had built up his own reputation, albeit one based on his past life as a criminal and his current one as a radical in the eyes of the government. Since 1950, Malcolm X had been on the FBI's radar due to communication with Elijah Muhammad and more notably opposition to the Korean War. Several reports state that the legendary meeting between the two occurred in June of 1962. At the time, Ali was traveling to Detroit for a Nation of Islam event and met X at a diner prior to it. The rousing speech by X left a lasting impression on him much like Malcolm X recalled Ali's contagious quality that matched his outspoken personality. An article from Biography.com detailed more on Ali's thoughts following their first meeting and the subsequent rally that followed as the boxer recalled. My first impression of Malcolm X was how could a black man talk about the government and white people and act so bold and not be shot at. He was fearless. That really attracted me. From here. The two would begin spending much time together as Ali continued to climb the ranks in the world of boxing. For X, he saw the opportunity as a great one, seeing as his childhood included his father dying at the heart of white supremacists and a world champion boxer of color at the time would bring forth great pride in black people as well as the realization that they too could be great. Additionally, X saw Ali as a friend whose platform could be used to highlight great racism in the country as well as a number of other issues with the treatment of black people that eventually became more extreme than what Elijah Muhammad was willing to do. With the friendship only lasting about three years, a number of issues during the time quickly began to damage the budding relationship that began with the young Ali being enamored by the powerful speaker and with Malcolm being equally amazed by Ali's reach and potential to gain more support for the nation. After John F. Kennedy was killed, the Nation of Islam was to remain quiet on the matter. However, Malcolm X's ideals about that and other matters were too much for him to hold in and this inadvertently began the downfall of his and Ali's relationship. Having referred to the assassination as chickens coming home to roost, which aligned with his hate for whites, Malcolm X was first suspended 90 days from speaking and then stripped of his title within the nation indefinitely. Another issue X raised that he thought would be agreed upon as wrong with Ali was that of Elijah Muhammad fathering children out of wedlock with his secretaries. On February 25th, 1964, Cassius Clay would shake up the world, defeating Sonny Liston in one of the greatest upsets in the sport at the time. Malcolm X, after praying with Ali and reassuring him that his win was predestined as he was a true follower of the faith, celebrated with tears following the victory. This night in particular is notable as it signaled a post-fight meeting with singer Sam Cooke, NFL star Jim Brown, and X in a hotel room that will later become the subject of Regina King's film, One Night in Miami, in 2020. Celebrating of the win of the heavyweight title at just 22 years old, Ali embarked on a press run with Malcolm X before being scolded by Elijah Muhammad and forced to officially excommunicate. A radio announcement was how Muhammad Ali officially became to be, and a crossing of paths with Malcolm X in Ghana a few months later made it clear that Ali didn't think leaving brother Muhammad was a good idea. When Malcolm X was assassinated on February 21st, 1965, emotions were mixed amongst communities. With the issues between he and Ali having been made public in the past, it was no surprise that Ali would be flooded with questions about their relationship. 
It was during an interview with a member of the New York Times shortly after that Ali responded as clearly as ever regarding his feelings on his former friend, saying, Malcolm X and anyone else who attacks or talks about attacking Elijah Muhammad will die. No man can oppose the messenger of Almighty God. Even after being introduced to the very Elijah Muhammad for whom Ali was now protecting by Malcolm X, his passion for his faith led him to stand by his leader despite Elijah Muhammad's actions. With the years that passed, so did the image of Muhammad Ali as a fierce fighter for social justice aligned with radicalism. Prior to him succumbing to Parkinson's disease and passing on June 3, 2016, Ali did at least privately mention multiple times of his regret of how things ended with his great friend Malcolm X. In an article from AARP, Ali's daughter sat down with interviewers to answer questions ahead of the release of the Netflix documentary titled Blood Brothers, Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali in 2021. When questioned of whether or not Ali wished he'd spoken to X prior to his death, Mariam Ali said, My father saying ill words about him was not right. It wasn't righteous and he really regretted speaking against Malcolm. But hindsight is 2020. You know, in retrospect, he was a 22-year-old man who was dedicated to the nation and Elijah Muhammad at that time. Ali doubled down on this according to a People magazine interview as it was revealed that he wrote in his book, The Soul of a Butterfly, Turning my back on Malcolm was one of the mistakes that I regret most in my life. I wish I'd been able to tell Malcolm I was sorry that he was right about so many things. Rumors have circulated for years that the FBI and even Elijah Muhammad were reluctant that Ali and X dismounted their relationship. Fear over the reputation X had for bringing people together for a cause and the appeal of Muhammad Ali as a hometown hero had the potential to bring great change across the nation. Muhammad Ali's further shift after he too left the nation of Islam in favor of being Sunni Islam. The culture in the 1960s that went against the norm in favor of better quality of life for minorities pushed back against racism and Muhammad Ali will forever be an infamous figure in the movement. Malcolm X's life changes and reach to so many people inspiring them to fight for better for themselves alike will forever be his legacy as his premature death came in the midst of his fight. All in all, with the power and notoriety of both men alone, one can never forget the friendship and downfall, breaking up possibly the biggest what if movement, empire, or maybe more. Stay up to date with the latest news and comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel, follow Hype Plus across all social media, and look out for original content on our new streaming service. For Hype Plus News, I'm Ramil Thompson.